Will the real estate market gains continue to hold out as we go into the last month of 2019? Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb, and I wanted to share with you the market stats for the first 11 months of 2019 for a couple markets throughout Massachusetts. Today, we're going to take a look at Massachusetts as a whole, Brockton, Canton, Dorchester, Framingham, Quincy, and Reading. So first, let's stop by and take a look at all of Massachusetts. Decreasing inventory is the story to be told throughout the Bay State, with condos continuing the trend um, and now down 8.43% year over year. Meanwhile, inventory for single families continued to shrink and is now down 15.14%. Sales are down in both condos as well as the single family market. Um, condos are down 2.46%. Meanwhile, single families are down 0.85% year over year. Home prices continue to be up in both segments with the average sale price for a condo at $521,276, which represents a 3.84% increase. And the average price for single families is now $517,921, which represents a 2.89% increase in the average sale price. So quick recap for Massachusetts, inventory is down, sales are down, and prices are up. So let's swing down to Brockton, where inventory in Brockton has been down a significant amount pretty much all year. However, we did start to see that gap start to shrink um, as we saw pretty much a surge of houses hit the market in November in, in Brockton. Inventory is now down 2.7% to 108 single families currently available for buyers to, to, to buy. The decline in sales also continued in November as we now have 759 units closed for the first 11 months of 2019. And this represents a 7.33% decline in sales activity year over year. The great news is, is the average home price in Brockton continued to climb. It's now the average price is $318,996. And this represents a 6.38% increase in the, that average sales price. So a quick recap for Brockton is inventory is down, sales are down, but prices are up. So in Canton, Canton's now down 22.73% year over year with 34 uh, homes currently available to buyers. Meanwhile, sales are down 15.1% year over year with 163 units closed for the first 11 months of 2019. This is compared to last year where we had 192 closings um, for the first 11 months of the year from January to, to end of November for 2018. The average sales price continued to climb in Canton to $623,766, and this represents a 5.44% increase in average sale price year over year. So a quick recap for it, uh, Canton, inventory is down, sales are down, but prices are up. The Dorchester market has seen a 23.91% decrease in the amount of condos that are currently on the market, which represents 70 units currently being available to buyers to, to buy. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, sales are pretty much flat with one additional unit sold in 2019 compared to 2018. So the 407 units closed for the first 11 months of 2019 represents a 0.25% increase in sales activity. Meanwhile, the average uh, sales price increased in Dorchester to 2.07% with an average sale price for a Dorchester condo of $515,397. So quick recap, inventory is down in Dorchester, sales are flat, and prices are up. So shooting out to uh, the Metro West and heading out to Framingham, inventory in Framingham is at 61 units. This 61 units represents a 15.09% increase in year-over-year -year, uh, inventory that is available to a buyer. Meanwhile, sales are up a pretty significant 5.57% 5 to 550 units closed from January to the end of November of 2019. Um, and the average sales price is $487,693. And this represents a uh, average sale price increase of 0.67%. So a quick recap for Framingham, inventory is up, sales are up and prices are up slightly, right? Not quite flat, but, but slightly. The condo market, excuse me, the Quincy market, we're gonna take a look at the condos as well as single family market. Um, the condo and single family markets are now both registering in inventory decreases with an 11.27% decrease in the condo market with currently 63 homes currently on the market. Uh, meanwhile, we see 57 single family homes currently on the market and available to buyers. And this represents a 19.72% decrease in the amount of single family homes currently on the market versus this time last year. Condos sales are actually up in Quincy at 2.08% for 392 units 
while sales for single families are actually down 12.69% to 399 units closed for the first 11 months of 2019. In both the condo market and single family market, we've seen appreciation gains. The average sales price for a condo in Quincy is $415,399. And this represents a 3.15% increase in the average sales price. Meanwhile, for single family market uh, in the Quincy, uh, price, the average sale price is $548,783, and this represents a 5.78% increase in prices. So to recap, inventory is down in both condos as well as single family. Sales are up in the condo market, but down in the single family, and prices are up in both the single family and condo market. So heading up to the North Shore, figure we take a look at Reading. Inventory in Reading is down 36.36% year over year with 21 single family homes currently on the um, market and available to buyers. Uh, meanwhile, sales have actually increased to 240 units, which represents an 18.18% increase in the amount of sales in Reading year over year. Meanwhile, prices are up 1.98% to an average sale price of $668,754. So if a recap for Reading is inventory is way down, sales are up, and home price appreciation is up. So what does December have in store for the market? Well, a big part of it's gonna big thing that's gonna really factor into whether uh, just we, we end up strong and, and finish the year strong in 2019 is really related around to the weather. If we don't get much snow, I predict it's gonna be a pretty strong end of the year and we're gonna to continue to see gains on what we've already built, um, built in throughout the first 11 months of the year. However, if we get a lot of that white stuff, then we could ultimately see a huge slowdown in the marketplace, which will obviously affect our numbers. Um, again, I'm Jeff Chubb. I'm with the Chubb Realty Group. Our philosophy here is to make moving easier. So if you have any questions about your home or the current market conditions, you're just curious or you're just looking for some information as you're just starting in that information gathering phase and thinking about making a move, then we're here to help you in any way possible. The best way to get a hold of us is by phone at 617-480-2600 or by email at jeff at boston2.com. And you can also visit us online at boston2.com. Thanks for watching. We look forward to hearing from you and hope you're having a great day.